Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Bray Tone. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you the top three ways, basically, how to fix lag on the Citra emulator. But before we get started this video, please make sure you guys you like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's get it. Now, first things first, um, when you get to the emulation tab, when you have the Citra emulator on, let's configure. And when you get to the graphics tab, make sure everything is on default and when you see your native make sure it's by at 400 times 24 and then when you're here make sure you try to disable on um, vsync and shader jet and on audio everything should be on default also because audio do play a big part of why you're experiencing lag when you're on emulation so yeah i like this press okay next thing is you left click, go to your NVIDIA control panel. When you're here, go to the third tab. Now also do keep in mind that if you guys are using this on a PC, you may have more tabs or you have a more up-to-date graphics card, you may have uh, more settings to mess around with. But usually if you have a NVIDIA graphics card, these three, um, Settings are basically the most important settings that you ever need for emulation and anything else um, when it comes to gaming. All right, set this to your graphics card, which is a 1050 G, um, GTX, which is a GeForce. And then we'll go down, you use your preference emphasizing. You're gonna um, go toward more performance. There's really three options, performance all the way in the middle because you can pick in between the middle which is your neutral on both. And then you can always go to quality. But my preference is performance because I, I want to push gameplay more than anything. Manage 3D settings. Now on here, obviously use your graphics card. You can mess around with more settings. And you have a lot of important um, settings for emulation like um, VSync, OpenGL, Share Cache, um, triple buffering and stuff like that. But usually the default settings are usually good. But if you feel like your PC doesn't run on too well on VSync, you can t turn it off or on, or you feel like you don't like using OpenGL as, as much, you can turn it off, or you don't like when games are creating, um, shader caching, you can turn that all off also. It's based on your preference, but I feel like the default setting for my PC is good. Um, go to program settings. I only on program settings, use your NVIDIA graphics card, but these settings are basically the same as the first one, but it's to a more advanced degree, but you're going to see the same settings that are very good for emulation. Okay, let's go to add, I'm going to add a Citra emulator, add that, basically going to apply that. Then you're going to close that out. All right, and then also the third and final method is always updating your drivers. <laughs> a lot of people miss out on that. Always update your drivers and make sure you ha always have a good up-to-date PC with the latest drivers. That doesn't matter with uh, AMD or NVIDIA. Uh, with NVIDIA, you can always type in, go on Google, type in NVIDIA drivers, update, and then you go to the NVIDIA website and it tells you what type of driver you have for me i will pick my 1050 g4 series and then i download this i download the latest drivers and then install it to my pc and it's all good to go and i'm pretty sure the same process it was same thing with amd also because i'm pretty sure the process to update your drivers is pretty similar so yeah that's basically about it the top three ways to fix lag on the yuzu emulator if you guys are still still experiencing lag is obviously you don't have a good PC that's not up to date and the graphics card does not work really well with Citra or just update your PC parts and you basically be good to go. I'm pretty sure those are the most common problems on the Citra emulator when you're experiencing lag. So yeah, that's basically about it. If you guys enjoyed this video, find this video any helpful at all, feel free to like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And yeah, guys, this is your boy Braytone. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.